My name is Kevin Bickart. I'm an adult neurologist and neuroscientist here at UCLA in affiliation with UCLA's Brain Sport and Neuromodulation programs. Today, I'm excited to tell you about a clinical trial funded by the Department of Defense in which we're trying to treat people with concussion who have prolonged symptoms way longer than they should have with a personalized form of brain stimulation that is non-invasive and directed at a circuit that might be overactive on overdrive to see if we can reset it and improve their symptoms long term. I was involved in a car accident when I was driving home from work and I had gotten rear-ended and as a result I ended up with a concussion. There is just like a lot of sensitivity to light and also I'm very much more sensitive now to noises like loud noises especially. I was experiencing some nausea and also some dizziness and I just sleep disturbances. There have been a lot of that. A lot of anxiety, just a lot of um, tension, just some physical symptoms as well as emotional. In this clinical trial, we're testing the idea that maybe there's an overactive brain circuit between the frontal most part of the prefrontal cortex and a deep structure within the brain called the amygdala involved in emotional processing. And maybe that circuit on overdrive, overactive, oversensitized, doesn't allow people to extinguish symptoms and maybe not allow them to extinguish maladaptive reactions to symptom flares like fear avoidance behavior, which is avoiding stimuli or activities that provoke symptom flares, like avoiding screen time or avoiding physical activity or mental activity or getting back to work or getting back to school. And in the short run, while that may be helpful in preventing symptoms and protecting the brain, letting it rest while the recovery occurs, in days to weeks of avoidance, that perpetuates and prolongs symptoms, worsening recovery, worsening long-term outcomes. And so the Department of Defense has funded us to perform a clinical trial to answer the question, does brain stimulation in a personalized view of each individual's brain circuit from the frontal lobe to the amygdala actually reset that circuit, make it more functional, more dynamic, able to extinguish symptoms and those maladaptive reactions to symptoms to re-engage in life, to have the power to do what they used to do without symptoms. And so with the expertise and support of Drs. Giza and Lukter here at Brain Sport and uh, Neuromodulation Programs, we've designed a really interesting state-of-the-art clinical trial that stands out in many ways. First, the trial stands out in its size, data, and its speed. It's the largest study of its kind with 90 participants, three groups that we'll be collecting over two to three years. Each participant gets five MRIs. They're about an hour each, making up 675 hours worth of MRI data. And each person wears an aura ring, which collects their biometrics on a 24-7 basis. This is an accelerated protocol, whereas traditional forms of brain stimulation might take 30 days with 30 minutes of treatment per day. This is producing the same amount of dose or more with just four minutes a day for 10 days of treatment. And so it also stands out in its personalization. We perform a brain MRI on every person prior to their treatment, mapping their brain circuitry, finding that target region within the frontal lobe that is accessible for non-invasive brain stimulation and connected most tightly to that deep structure in the brain called the amygdala. And then in real time, we demonstrate that circuit so we can geolocate with our brain stimulation coil to that exact region and produce the exact amount of stimulation needed to target that circuit and reset it. The second thing we do to personalize is provide people with a recording that they made of their trauma that got them here in the first place and the worst case scenario if those symptoms never went away. And so that should activate the circuit involved and if we're slightly off to the left or right or up or down on the circuit, at least the circuit's active and we have the best chance of resetting it during stimulation. Now, this trial is really important for concussion but it goes way beyond that. If we can get down to the amygdala from a superficial part of the frontal lobe and change the circuitry there, that could be applicable to a lot of different conditions that affect the emotion, uh, the regulation of stress, such as post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, but also a lot of other disorders that have chronic symptoms involved to help ameliorate and overcome fear avoidance behavior. I think there isn't a lot of information, there is no biomarkers that like really clearly define like what a concussion is and especially those um, who may be a bit more susceptible to these post-concussive symptoms 
And so for UCLA Health to actually try to pave the way in terms of concussion and brain health and trying to understand the, what could you know, be beneficial to patients, not just, you know, just one person, but, you know, like across, you know, the world, you know, across the population. So the clinical trial is happening right now. You can contact the Big Art Lab group to get involved. The participant pool is anyone 18 to 65 that has had a concussion within the last three to 12 months. And they'll undergo those MRIs and the TMS sessions, the brain stimulation sessions we just talked about and they'll be compensated um, for their time, as well as be able to keep the aura ring if they're able to wear it at least 80% of the time that they have it.